everybody, and welcome back to Minish Cap. Last time, we did more stuff around Hyrule. I forget what, because it has been about five weeks since I last recorded something. And my memory is shaky as all hell. But, off screen, I did a lot of kinstone fusing. I have no shame in this. Because there is a ton of miscellaneous crap that you don't need to do that contributes actually nothing to the main game. <sighs> I love this game. I do not recommend 100%ing it. But... I found her. Wait. What? Um. Excuse me? So. That purple haired teacher has the last kinstone fusion I need. The last one. That I don't. That is not required for 100%. Thank you. I have no idea. Why that didn't pop up. Do I have to approach her from the front? So I spent about four hours looking for her. Because she was the one fusion I could not find with a guide. And unfortunately, like, there were some interesting things that unlocked with uh, fusion. Thankfully, I have a practice file and did not... Go and get everything off camera. There are still some things we need to collect. Like the improved bomb bag and some more sword techniques. So, with that we have two kinstone fusions left. I know where both of them are. But there are some areas we can go to here. For more sword training! Great blade. Yes, I'll train here. How to prolong your duration of your great spin attack. And I'm not saying this in character because that would be a lot of just weirdness. But now we can go way longer with the great spin attack and there's no consequences to it. Which is nice. But let's go get those last two fusions. Why don't we? Because, well, there's fusions you can do. And, actually, as the result of a fusion, if we head up here into this house and talk to him, he invented a new bomb. You have to fuse with the Minish Elder in the forest, I believe, to get these. These are remote bombs. These aren't great. Because you can only put down one at a time. Yes. Yes, you can set them off whenever. You can't blow them up in midair. Yeah. Give me back my bombs. Not worth it. And you might be thinking, oh, but you can detonate at any time. You don't have to wait. Yeah, but you can't do... You can't place more than one at a time. You can't do a lot of stuff with them. And it's kind of pointless, really. But there are actually some things we can do in Minish Village, and I just realized I need the Pegasus Boots. If we just run over here, and down here, this is not a Kinstone Fusion, but this is pretty cool. If we head down here and talk to this guy... Hello! We're doing cutting-edge research on Pico Blooms here. You see that plant with a little bud? We're working on ways to improve it. I need milk to continue my improvements. So, he needs a few things. Some of these are fairly simple to get. The reason why I don't have the milk already is because milk costs 100 rupees a jar, and I don't have money, and I didn't feel like prolonging a recording to grind money because it's very boring. 
Oh, whoops. But you can only access these fusions at the end of the game because this fellow has two. You want to fuse kinstones? Let's do it. Whee! Sparkle, sparkle. This opens up a very important path in Vale Falls. It's also why I didn't go there to get the last sword upgrade. Because, well, it's better just to do one trip to an area to show it off. But if you come back in and fuse again, this opens up. That little patch of dirt at Lake Hylia is what will give us access to something very important. Now, full disclosure, I was kind of manipulating the game with a glitch. Well, not a glitch, more like an oversight of this game being adapted to Virtual Console. Because of the Wii U Virtual Console, you can have save points, so I can create a restore point right here. And by creating that restore point, under any circumstances, I can load back there. If you go to the gambling minigame, which I will show off, you can use it to permanently manipulate the game so that you can, have, you can instantly max out your wallet. Now, why would you do this? And why would this be helpful? After a certain point, getting mysterious seashells becomes impossible because of chests. What do I mean by that? Well, you can't find them. Oh wait, I actually just remembered something important. You can't find them anymore. There's only a certain amount of chests with them in. Now, you can buy seashells from the shopkeep in Hyrule Town, and he will help you out big time in your quest for 100%. Ah, shit! Uh, no! God damn it, ow. Woo! Ice, ice, baby. Do, 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 Ah, no! But did you see that there? That is a heart piece I didn't know about. And this makes me kick myself in the dick. I, cause I spent hours looking for every goddamn heart piece location in the game. Now that doesn't sound bad. That sounds like you'd have to do that anyway. It's harder when they're locked behind the kinstone fusions, which is why a lot of people do not like the mechanic of that of this game. It is a fun little world-building exercise, but the fact that you cannot, and I repeat, cannot get 100% completion, even, like, everything but the fusions, without doing them, kind of sours people's moods of this game. Awesome. And yeah, I am just going to be cutting every piece of grass I find and doing the great spin attack because this is the fastest way to earn money. Now, let's, let's fly. Because there's some areas we need to go to first. First of all, there's a heart piece on Mount Krennel. This is dickish to find. And full disclosure, I did find this and open up chests off screen. They were mostly just seashells and rupees and stuff that were not super important at this point in the game. Whoops, I am too high, but this is sort of the fastest way to get here. Not ideal, but yeah. Anyway, this is a very dickish uh, spot because this is where a kinstone fusion is hidden. You have no guarantee of ever finding that. So, I'm making sure to highlight that here. That space, incredibly important for 100%. Oh my god, a fairy from an enemy. I did not know that was a thing. Well, actually, no, I knew that was a thing. I just thought it was very specific enemies. But anyway, over here is a heart piece. Yeah, normally you just bomb that, and it's a really good early game heart piece. Do that. Just save you time. 
And let's fly again. Because this time we're going to Hyrule Town. And, in fact... Uh, we're going to be not heading to one I think I showed off earlier in the game that we just couldn't get. We are heading to Vale Falls for the two things that I know of. There is a certain area deep in the game, and actually, I just need to check my map in case... Yeah, no, okay, I got that. I don't... Uh, there's a butterfly in the graveyard. I highly recommend getting it because I think it either makes you fly faster, dig faster, or swim faster because now this is way less tedious. Isn't that good? Grab that. It's another piece of heart. We have two left. And if we dig all the way over here, we have 50 mysterious seashells. This bumps our total up to 107. And that's incredibly good. Because now, unfortunately, I wish you could just jump down. You do have to go around and it kind of sucks and it does sour the mood. But we can grab that after we do something else. Or before, which is what I think I'm actually going to do. Sorry for being so off the wall random right now. I'm kind of in a really good space right now in my life, so my brain's working on have as much energy as possible, and I'm so happy my life is going the way I want it right now. So, the last thing we're getting in Vale Falls right now is the last sword up ability upgrade. I believe this is the split gauge. Now, what is the split gauge, you might ask? It fills up the split gauge faster. Yeah, this is split blade. So, effectively, this halves the amount of time it takes to charge up the gauge. Unfortunately, you can't really do this till the end of the game. Now, if I am correct, the earliest you can do that is when you get the flippers and can access all the extra swordsmen. Unfortunately, you actually can't do that. Because to access all the swordsmen, you need to have the rocks cape. So, while you can have it for the final dungeon, you're not going to. Like, you, unless you are going out of your way to go back to the swordsmen and have them show you this very basic, like, this very important thing that, like, really should have been a fairy's a bit, uh, boon. Like, uh, it, it sours the mood, kind of. But if we roll up here past these annoying enemies whose names I forget, uh, we can poof open this with four links and get three treasure chests, a red kinstone piece, which is kind of useless, a red kinstone piece, which is kind of useless, and wait, what's this? Another red kinstone piece and a piece of heart. We have one left after this. There are no more heart pieces in the game. However, there is a heart container. I mentioned this in an earlier episode. And, well, you get a full piece of heart outside of a dungeon. You do not have to complete a dungeon for it. Because looking on it, Link to the Past does technically give you a piece of heart free that is completely optional, completely missable. And what ended up happening is you still get it for the end of the dungeon, so I still count it as the dungeon reward heart piece. Now, off screen, I grinded shells. I grinded a lot of shells. 
And this is the last fucking figurine I need before beating the final boss. Kentari, Elder of the Forest Ministry, has lived along humans for a long time. He knows where the four elements are. He has a twin brother in Hyrule's library. He freaks out! Congratulations! You've now collected all of the figurines that I've made! I'll keep a good eye on all of your figurines in the case. Please come see them anytime. We're not done yet. Uh, spoiler warning! There are six more. There are six more figurines. But... With all those figurines, we talk to this guy. It's a totally complete set. Yeah. Now, I think that you're only supposed to get this after beating the game. Because we do not have the Karlov medal. But that dialogue says that we should only be able to access this. In these chests, 600 rupees. This is important. And a piece of heart. Now, a, bi a bigger thing of this room. This is the sound test. You can play every song in the game here. Now, we only have one heart container left. And thankfully to a Kinstone Fusion. Yes, it's locked behind a Kinstone Fusion too. If we go to Lake Hylia, we can get it. Unequip your flute. Just trust me, it's really easy to accidentally hit A when you're big and you don't mean to. The Rock's Cape is your best friend because there are those. Now, the way this is laid out, it really makes me think you were supposed to be able to do this as early as getting the flippers. Because that's a nothing thing if you have the Rock Cape. But Elder Librari is here. Hey, how'd you find me, kid? You're a real humdinger. So, since you found me, I'm going to give you my number one treasure and keep up the good work. A heart container. We did it. We now have every heart container in the game. All 20. Whoops. Oh, shoot. No, ah, poop. Ah, I'll just take the hit. I have the health. But yeah, this is, I think this is actually the first Zelda game I have ever gotten all the heart pieces on. Now, that's just sort of because I don't really complete games, but it feels good to see that health bar all the way full. Now, unfortunately... I'm going to have to waste this. Oops. Because, remember that Minish in Minish Village? Yeah, we're, this episode's going long. This is a pretty long video, actually, from how much stuff I just want out of the way. So, earlier, we had a Kinstone Fusion we could do that made the Witch Syrup actually, uh make a new potion, the red potion, and I pondered what it would do. Yeah, 150 rupees. This is why I'm doing it in this order. I would have to grind money, which, thanks to the virtual console manipulation you can do with the uh, gambling minigame, still kind of a pain in the ass. Like, seriously, it's a pain. Because it just takes so long. And you can only buy 30 shells at a time. For 200 rupees. But, I'm gonna just take a quick detour. To say hi. To him. To Tingle! Whee! And we got him twice. You fused each and every last kinstone! Way to go, Mr. Fairy! You can claim this Tingle Trophy as your own with pride now! You have the Tingle Trophy. This gives you infinite kinstones. Infinite. When you fuse every last one. Isn't it great? Isn't it just fantastic? It's not like that would have been helpful or anything. It's not like that's a completely pointless reward. Also, we need milk. Buy some milk. Just trust me on this. So... The items you need. Lawn Lawn Milk. 
Mount Krennel Mineral Water, and Red Potion. But we're going back to the Minish Forest for this. And then we're going back to Hyrule Town. Do you see the problem with completing everything? I do! Because I just did it. I have almost everything in the game. And we are finishing off all the items, all the equipment, all the bonuses this episode. I don't care how long it goes, even though we're already at like the 20 minute mark in my recording. Because, well... I want to show off everything this game has to offer, because I think this is a criminally underrated game in the Zelda franchise. Also, I would like to thank the artist Mage-Vati on Tumblr for my little fee uh, uh, avatar that you may have seen on social media. Lots of their art will also be helping me in videos when I get information wrong. I need milk. Hey, what do you got there? Is that Lon Lon milk? Yes. Come back when the flower blossoms. I believe if you just walk out and walk back in, a blossom happens. Please. Come back soon. Okay, it must be like two screens away. That's annoying. It better not actually be time-based. That would be super annoying. Ah! Oh, joy, it's legitimately just time-based. Oh, well, uh, shit. Well, that, uh, actually kind of takes the wind out of my sails right now. Uh, well, I'll check back in, like, two minutes. Anyway, there are more stuff we can get. There is, not are, there is more stuff that we can get. Bird! If you head down to Castor Wilds... Which I believe shouldn't have anything. Oh, there's actually a thing up there I should probably check out. And I just need the cape. The, I know the Pegasus boots are what you need for this area. The cape just mitigates it so much. I'm like, I love the Pegasus boots. Don't get me wrong. They're one of my favorite Zelda items ever. When they don't take up a goddamn inventory slot. I don't know why. They decided to make them take up an inventory slot when the left button... Oh, uh, I guess context. Like, it would be too context sensitive. But, like, they really, like... Uh, it's not great. Yeah, we open up this. This is probably a red goddamn kinstone. Oh, hey, look, a red, a red goddamn kinstone. We have infinite. Anyways, I'm just... I'm, I'm legitimately just going to go check in on the fucking pick a light. Because if it's there... I will cut to it. If it's not, I'll cut back here. Guess what wasn't there? We just run along here. We actually have to go back here because there are some things that are very important for completion. I forget exactly where I got these and that annoys me to no end. Uh, thanks, Armos, for just moving out of the way. That actually makes my job a lot easier. So, if you remember up here, uh, next screen up, there was a bean. By doing a fusion, I think, w within this area, opens this up. And if you fuse with the bomb minish, th another chest opens up. But we get the large quiver, which gives us 99 arrows. Really useful. Kind of don't like how it's hidden. Again, like a lot of this game would be a really improved if stuff just wasn't hidden. Like, I don't see any reason for it to be. Damn it! Oh god, he's like the Flash. Okay, so you have to do this puzzle every time you go here. And it's just... Eh... I don't know why it keeps on triggering. Like, why not set an activation, like, trigger for... Oh, is Fortress of Winds beaten? If yes, they don't have to do it again. And grab every shell you see. Trust me on this. 
Open this. Big bomb bag! He doesn't even get the glory of being in a big chest. It's just there. Just a generic ass chest. You can easily think, oh, this will just be like 200 shells or something. Yes, I am just going back. Don't judge me! Actually, no, judge because that's what criticism is. Whoop. But, like, I don't. It feels like maybe some areas were cut. And I don't know that much about nice, like, cut content. I don't know that details. Like, I might be able to find some research if I do some digging tonight. But, I don't know. It's... Eh. It's iffy. Like, it feels kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, I know you... you... Head down here. Come on. Come on, really? Maybe I have to talk to Beetle. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I do not get, like, why I can't find these, because the thing's like, find more money. Uh, I forgot the other two. I'm going to go talk to Beetle, because that's, like, the only other activation thing I can find think of for this like I don't want to have to show them off at the end of the game because that means I'm going to be leaving the final dungeon a bunch of times like I'm going to have to leave it a bunch of times checking for this like that seriously irks me Let's see how this changes. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Back I go. Whee! That poor bird. I'm working it to death. If it's not here this time, I'll just end the episode, honestly. Like, uh. And I will just wait and make another episode, like, specifically for this because I don't get it like this is just have it be tied to like two screens I get it they're plants they don't want to grow quickly but we've seen magical beans grow like to 300 feet tall tall enough that they're in the goddamn at atmosphere like that they're not in the atmosphere they're in like the upper level of the fucking world god damn it okay so Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below about your least favorite timed unlockable favor 100%! And I will see you next time, so let's let the good times roll.